السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم في قناة موبيل إلكترونيك دايكنوستيك ويلكم باك تو موبيل إلكترونيك دايكنوستيك توداي وي هاف 2021 وي ار جوينج تو 2022 2021 فورد هير إيماجين وات أند هاو بيوتيفول إت لوك أوكي إي ساي ذات إف يو نيد أسيستنس 911 أند هير أولسو أول ذا ذا ثينج يو سي أند ذا إير باك لايت إز أون collusion assist is not available this is a Lincoln and I'm gonna show you what model and year is it it's 2021 but the model is here Nautilus beautiful okay <clears throat> what was the problem with this it get hit a little bit from the back all the curtain airbags and all this they gone they are no good so before we are using, we are using our IDS2 and here VCM2 and the FDRS uh, diagnostic system. Detecting device, we are good on device, read VIN from the vehicle, communication is okay. You see here communication, voltage 14 point something. This is a new platform for most of the car. Read the vehicle from the car. I already have the vehicle, VIN number. Click next. And now here we are downloading all the information, configuration of the car. Our job here is to program downloading vehicle from the, info, from the car. Here it's going to be green to go. Perform a network test reading. You know, if you want to have a new vehicle, if you want to cancel, now it's reading DTC for all the modules. This one, you have to have a subscription. Based on your yearly subscription, you will be able to log into this software program and do all the functions and it will work. Get a laptop. With this laptop, actually I'm using it for two items wow beautiful now here anti-lock brake we have codes on the on the right side the car information hopefully it's clear okay and here is all the module with the codes in it green is good orange there is some uh, code okay what are you going to do now continue now here on the side on the right side the module and on the left side if you need to program or you need to read codes so let me go it what you need to do custom flight misfire monitor if you need a programming module so you're gonna come here or software module is a software update available or if you need to programming features let me go here I want to see software module is a software available okay now i don't want to do anything here but let me go there is nothing everything is up to date but i need one thing occupant classification system I need to restrain module here. This is what it is. RCM, self test, download, data loggers, network monitors, passive anti theft, remote functional programming, RCM programmable module installation, RCM restrain control module, RCM configuration. I need this one. Because this is the one that we need to program. Downloading. Now click on run. I'm programming, launching the vehicle software download. Let me turn the key off. Any battery charger. I'm going to turn the ignition on. Car must not run. 
I'm going to say yes, I want to continue. Is the original margin installed? No. Turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition off. Restrain control margin installation. He asked me if the, if the origin or oh, ignition must be on. Ignition must be on, yes. I don't know why he turned me off before. I'm programming the I don't want to start the car. Now I'm configured it. You see the, the, the airbag light is there on. It's gone automatically. As soon as I finish, configure it. I'm done with it. It's configured. And I see the light go and come back again. Maybe there is any code. Turn the ignition off. Okay, ignition is off. Turn off. This is a new system. Application finish. Press echo to continue. We turn the key on. Start the car. That the light there. If it doesn't go off, that means there is a problem. If it's everything good, no light. Okay, light come back again. Let me see what it means. Do do we do configuration already? Let me see if there is any code. Before that, do the configuration. Now the, the programming is the RCM programmable is done. Let me see now if I can do the configuration. I don't know if the configuration and everything is done. Turn the ignition switch on, engine off. Yes. Be before I didn't get it well. Press three module configuration. I don't know if it com I configured it before, but there is a programming and configuration. So. I know that I did the programming. I'm going to do the configuration. Turn the ignition off. Click OK. Application finish. OK. Let me turn the key on. Or the card. Or the, maybe the computer turn. Okay. Now let me turn the ignition on. So there are how many keys? One. Only one? one. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Now I'm gonna restrict. What? No, I don't want. I already program it. I'm gonna self test to see what we have. I want to see what code I have. I just want the... Okay. I'm going to ABS. No RCM. Okay. Run. Select a test. You're going to choose one. And run the test. See what's going on. On demand. Continuous. Snapshot. Okay, uh, pre-collision assist. Here we have two codes. Driver seatbelt pre-tension air deployment control. Driver seatbelt pre-tensioner seat deployment control. So we need two driver seatbelt pre-tensioner A and driver seatbelt pre-tensioner B. All these things here, we need to get it fixed on the seatbelt. Anything else, clear and retest.
I'm gonna clear it and retest. I'm gonna clear those. Okay. Yeah, hold the I'm gonna clear it and retest it now. It's blinking. Hopefully, it's not gonna come back again. We are in the retest. Aha, uh -huh. is there still RCM? RCM on demand, continuous. Wow, I like it. Snapshot, yes. Clubs steering deployment, occupant classification system, initial configuration not complete, those were before. Do we need those? I'm not sure. So clubs steering column deployment control, classification, occupant classification, Maybe those will come back again if I start the car. So this is the first test, we have it. I gotta go back again. I will, I will get um, this one here, ABS, steering column, IP, MA, IP, IM, I don't know what it is, and radio frequency. I'm going to go through this, and then click up to 5, so you cannot make more than 5. I'm going to run the test for 5, and see what's coming. You see one, two, three, four, and the third one. Power steering is good. Uh, <clears throat> RCM. Do I have anything on RCM, which is which means airbag control module? I will check. Yes, it have a problem. Continuous ignition state key on engine off. Key on engine off. Continue. All wheel drive. No snapshot, RCM we have a code. Hmm. All wheel drive also we have a code. You see it will go step by step from one to one. Then from the other side it will give you the code, what happened, what's going on. You are not going to do anything. We are not going to do any programming or any uh, repair. We are going to delete all the code. We know that the driver seat belt pretensioner, we have a problem with it. After the IPMA, IPMA or power steering control module is good. We will get the result for this and then we will clear all the codes. Or, okay, now here is a code. You see here? Okay. Okay. You see here initial receive anti lock brake system module, initial driver seat belt pretensioner. So we know that we have some code there. What you need to do? Clear and retest. Re I'm gonna continue to clear it because we don't. I don't think there is a problem with it. So we know that we already programmed the airbag control module, and what we are looking for now is the the the, the driver seat pretensioner. The driver seat pretensioner. Maybe they change it, and the connector are not well connected. That's the only thing left. You see, maybe all the others will disappear. Please subscribe, share, and like. This is the, the beauty of the original tools when you use it. Details, information, and you have no headache. Yes, after market tools, they work. Yeah, you see, all-wheel drive is clean now. I don't have no problem with it, before and after. ABS, still we have problem. 
airbag we have problem ipm ipma and power steering control module i'm not sure we're gonna check this car hit from the back it's good beautiful car you see the sky blue everything here is so nice beautiful i like it lincoln by the way everything here look clean start the engine i will start it why not continue so now i know abs i have a problem all we drive there is nothing good so now longitudinal is uh, longitudinal acceleration sensor need maybe adjustment driver seat belt deployment control driver seat belt driver uh, con uh, deployment control and what else yeah three code that we have maybe we need to uh, we need to reset the the okay let me go back now so i'm gonna go to self-test now here i'm gonna go back again to toolbox and then AB, uh, i'm gonna go to antelag break and i will do my abs service where is the abs abs break antelag break what you need to do is the abs this is okay abs only abs there's the abs here ABS, ABS, apply electrical parking, ABS, parking, initialize, parking brake initialization, ABS, electric release, electronic anti lock brake system, see what he need from us on the ABS. anti lock brake system, ABS calibration, programming module, anti lock brake system, ABS configuration, maybe this one here, or ABS, Antelag brake system, ABS calibration, or maybe you have to go back to the steering column. I don't want to go to do anything without their authorization, but I know that there is something need to be checked on 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 um, on the ABS for that code, which is uh, the code was here. ABS antelag brake system. And uh, self test for the ABS only, and we have it before that. He need to reset the. Uh, long the title accelerator have to be reset let me see here what they say current warning lamp missing calibration so maybe you need to go through that one in case you get a authorization from the manufacturer or from the dealer other than that uh, we need to get sensor for the other one for watching mobile electronic diagnostic this is Muhammad Harun Idris please subscribe share and like